Fallout 4, the highly anticipated sequel to the long-running Skyrim franchise by Bethesda. Quite different to other games in the Skyrim series, we see a departure from Tamriel to the mystical realm of America, living in a fictional dystopic future where Bernie Sanders has won the 2016 election. In this future, everyone is composed of spaghetti, and generally, everything is pretty shit. The story goes that after the war, yes, the one with the Austrian fellow, the world has been brought to the brink of nuclear war. Uh, right after n mastering nuclear power and inventing butler bots for every single American family. One joke about small Asian wangs boils down terribly and results in nukes being fired at the US. Luckily, you and your family enter Vault 111 just in time to be frozen cryogenically and have your baby stolen from you. Your quest, you guessed it, is to get your baby back. The baby, which you're assured is still somehow alive even though you have no idea what year your baby got napped and your spouse died of bullet poisoning. The radiation from the resulting nuclear fallout has mutated many of the races in America, with Mexicans becoming rad roaches and red guards becoming functional members of society. The fauna remains generally unchanged, with Bethesda developers cleverly pasting in rats and mud crabs from previous titles and doubling their size. Playing as a strong independent black woman, I found my immersion quickly ruined, as I came to realize that my household lacked an absent father figure, forcing me to disable my husband through the console. I did not cry for my supportive husband, as he was clearly a compulsive liar. New hairstyle? I swear, you haven't aged a day. The plot quickly ups the ante. You go from murdering several Mexicans, to shooting mole rats, to shooting white people in a matter of minutes, receiving your first suit of power armor about 10 minutes into the game, and downing your first death claw 12 minutes into the game. However, it's not all easy, and some missions can quickly become too much to handle, such as this side quest where you must retrieve underage jailbait from a vault, only to be ambushed by hordes of radioactive gorillas. In the end, my postal bride could not be rescued, and she had to be put down with the rest of those gorillas. The game physics can be a little bit unrealistic, such as when I jump, yet I would argue that most Africans can easily reach such heights if they tried. The game is also not without its fair share of glitches. At some point, my game broke itself, preventing me from leaving pre-war sanctuary and spawning several copies of my husband, and they all wanted to know who the father was. The situation was made more difficult as my robo-butler Codsworth was forced to repel a large gecko that had managed to enter my son's room. And to make matters worse, the vault tech salesman standing outside had given up on his career and resorted to fondling a young boy in plain view of his mother. On the other hand, one of the most particularly fun features of the game is the inclusion of base building, allowing you to live out the American dream of owning a plantation. However, I failed to attract any willing slaves, which I later found out was due to roving gangs of gorillas murdering all my potential workforce. These were dealt with accordingly. Here you can see the valiant defense of my first settlement, Ass Fortress 12, from these villainous apes. The game may simply be described as a masterpiece, like Witcher, with guns, and Skyrim, with gameplay. This spectacular duel, this magnum opus, from Bethesda Softworks, and my good friend Todd Howard, who has paid generously for this review, is worth every hard-earned cent of that $60 purchase price. Yes, I know, rice farmer in India that only earns about 4,000 rupees every year. That's a lot of money, but all of your fields, all of your crops, and your starving family pales in comparison to the prodigious, cinematic, phenomenal, cum-inducing rapture that you feel from owning a copy of Fallout 4. <gasps> Some of my complaints, however, are that I cannot play the dog. Why bother showing so much promotional footage of a dog when the dog is not an option as a playable character? As fervor salt in the wounds, why can't we at the very least romance the dog? Come on, Bethesda. It's 2015. And man's best friend is ready to become man's best lover. Overall, however, I think the game is pretty good. Yeah, the graphics look a little brown and bleak and kind of shitty. But then again, it is America. I give this game a yes out of maybe, putting it as my most highly reviewed game this year. Congratulations, Bethesda. Good job.